Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. And welcome to this audio only episode for Feb 2021. As you know, I don't often do audio only episodes. I think I've only ever done one on the channel before in the two to three years that I've been doing this. Uh, some of you will remember last year for a few months I didn't do monthlies at all and yeah that's because I wasn't so well and yeah this month I am sort of noticing that I'm a little bit run down and I don't want to be in the situation where I'm not working for several months so I decided all right I'm going to just take it easy I'm going to do an audio only one today and this month I think I'm I'm not going to be doing uh you know, a pick a card every week kind of thing as I have been doing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to post content as and when I can. That's what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's that's the best I can do for now. Some of you are booked in for readings with me and this is why I'm changing my YouTube schedule because I want to make sure that I give you, my clients, my full energy and my full attention. So I won't be doing videos as much because I just want to focus myself on the people who are booked and the people who are booked uh, in for readings. So you'll also notice on the website that you won't be able to book anymore. So that, that will change. So if you are hoping for a reading, come back in the future and you'll be able to book at another time. And uh, yeah, that, that, that'll be all good. So I'm just going to you know take things a bit easy for now and uh, you'll see me here and there as and when so I think that's that's the best I can do for now and as I say if you booked with me don't worry at all I'm totally on it it's all good okay now we're going to take a look at the energy of this month what is going on in the sky in terms of the sidereal Vedic side of things now i've got my chart in front of me i'm taking a look and i'm seeing all this planetary energy there in capricorn it looks like on the days of the 10th and 11th of feb we've got you know saturn sun venus jupiter moon mercury and we've got pluto as well right so that is just huge that's a lot of planetary energy and there's no the only planet that's not there is mars so really, if you think about it, if you look at all these lords here, these planets, I mean, it's kind of the whole zodiac belt is uh, all the lords are here concentrated in one place. It's quite incredible. So one of the things I'll say about that is that the early part of the month might feel like a bit of a pressure cooker at times. We've got a lot of earth energy it might feel quite slow, it might feel a bit stagnant. It might feel like it's hard to make progress is one of the things I'm kind of sensing here. This, as I said, is going to be a year that will be slow and raw. And I said that in my 2021 outlook, I'll put a link You'll be able to watch that 2021 outlook if you haven't watched that. Do check that out. But yeah, I feel like this this yeah, this early part of Feb could be could be interesting. I mean, the next couple of months, guys, it uh, it, it is looking uh, pretty pretty interesting up there. I, March, I've got a date which I'll share with you later, which I'm a little bit. Well, I'm a little bit concerned about, um, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. So let's take a look at some of the things that are happening this month. I mean, we've got Mercury, it's in addition to that mass congregation there. In addition to that, we've got Mercury retrograding back into Capricorn. He's going to be there for the whole month. He moves forward 21st Feb. So a lot of the action this month in Feb is really happening sort of 21st Feb. We've got Mercury moving forward. We've got Venus moving into Aquarius on the 21st of Feb. We've got Mars moving to Taurus on the 22nd of Feb, right? We've got Sun. This is a powerful shift happening in, in Sun moves into Aquarius on 13th Feb. So I do feel like Feb should have, you know, this, this month really should have a shift of energy 
kind of in the last uh, so like two thirds of the month will pass and then we'll start to notice okay think we've got a bit of movement we've got a bit of flavor we've got a bit of you know a bit of change of energy happening here I'm also seeing that the energetic shift sun venus i think it's going to be quite quite positive for everyone you know venus is pretty happy just about everywhere as she moves about the zodiac belt she's just not too happy in the 10th and the 6th house sun of course is 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 fairly happy i mean sun's happy where is the sun happy bring up my little handy little chart which my free chart which you can find on my website sun's happy in the 3rd 6th 10th and 11th some of you are having an amazing uh, time with the transits. Some of you, you know, but I think there's something positive there for everyone. I also think that Mars is going to be, Mars's movement into Taurus, I actually do think that's going to be better because Mars won't be in a hard Kendra aspect to Saturn. This is good, right? I, I think Mars is, is moving into a better place. We have Karl Sarpa Yoga still in our skies. And those of you who remember some of my videos from last year, you'll remember I talked about that. And I talked about how that can be a really good time for certain people. Um, Karl Sarpa is still in our skies and will be so until 27th March 2021. Let's take a look at the moon situation. We've got 11th, 12th Feb. I've put 11th or 12th, it depends where you are in the world. But on the 11th or 12th of Feb, we've got Capricorn Tanishta new moon. So with this new moon, what I'm going to do is for every single sign in the mini breakdowns, I'm going to tell you which house this is happening for you so that you can make your wishes for the future. All right, I'm going to give you some ideas as to what to wish for, but you can, of course, you know, just hear what I have to say and then come up with your own thing, right? I'm just giving ideas here, okay? I'm not saying that, you know, there's no hard and fast anything happening on this channel, right? This is all just friendly chat. So, yeah, I mean, you'll be able to see where that new moon is happening and you'll be able to get a feel for that. And on those two days, and look up in your area whether it's the 11th or 12th of Feb, it does depend where you live. Look up where that new moon is happening. Try to, and it, do you know, it doesn't matter. Even two, three days on either side of that date, as long as you hold the intention, maybe you spend 10 minutes outside, sitting on the grass, somewhere in nature. Uh, ideally at night, that would be incredible. I've been trying to take more walks in the evening and at night just to get some starlight energy, some moon energy. And that has been a really nice thing to do. So, yeah, um, that's the Capricorn new moon there, 11th, 12th Feb. Then we've got 27th Feb, Leo full moon, Purva Falguni. So at a full moon, it's a really great time to reflect on, you know, where we've been, how far we've come. And this is going to be a great time to reflect on your creativity. You might be looking back and, and seeing, wow, you know, I, I have been creative. You know, every, every now and then it's very important that we look back on our lives and we see the progress we've made because otherwise we will be putting ourselves under so much pressure and, and constantly seeing that, oh, I haven't done this and I'm not good at that and I need to learn this. And, you know, we can, we can be so hard on ourselves, but it's really important to take stock. It's really important. To look back and to see well, you know what i've done a few things or whatever it is that, that you feel like you've done or especially at a leo full moon it's a great time to just reflect on all the creativity of your life and you might not think you're creative you might think well you know i'm doing a profession where i'm not creative let me tell you every single profession right and even just you choosing this video over that video right even you choosing uh whatever choice you're making that's being creative right choice is creative so if you're choosing between different things that that itself in itself is creative so you are a very creative person and on the 27th of feb that's going to be a really good time to reflect on that 
Now, I think I mentioned that there were some dates that I wanted to give about the United States. Did I say that? Did I say some dates coming up? I will just give a couple of dates in relation to the United States chart. I'm not going to say too much uh, about what I'm seeing there. I just want to give some dates to say be careful potentially on these days or take some extra care. Uh, you know, don't want to be congregating or, or doing too much of that. I, I don't know. Anyway, I mean, I, look, I don't know what's what's coming. This is actually going to be for March, guys, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. I hope I'm totally well by March and able to do a full report for you guys. That's what I'm really hoping. But uh, anyway, since I've seen this already, I want to talk about it now. And that is Mars will be going over natal Uranus in the United States chart. And Mars rules the third from the moon and the tenth from the moon. And one of the things that I'm seeing here, Mars is going to be quite close to Rahu, virtually conjunct. So the date that I'm really looking at is, I think it's the 24th. Let me, yeah, it's even before then. It's kind of 23rd, 20, oh, maybe it's 24th. Let's have a look here. No, it might, I think it's kind of like the, the 24th. So basically what I'm saying is, these dates, 23rd, 24th, let's even go 25th, 26th, 27th, all of those dates. I'm just going to count them all. All of those dates could be really important for the United States and there could be some kind of shift that comes out of nowhere. And because it's the third from the moon and the, uh, let's say, the tenth from the moon, I mean, I'm seeing possibility uh, some shift in leadership. Okay, so whether that's, you know, his wild guess, maybe um, Joe Biden giving some more power to Kamala Harris or, or something even very different from that, uh, I don't know. I don't know at all, okay, but like uh, there could be some kind of shift, okay, so something might happen. It might not, you know, but equally it might. So I just thought I would put that out there. And yeah, I, I won't dwell on that too much i know i did say i wouldn't talk too much about that's not so much politics it was something i saw and i just thought that was important to share guys so that's all okay i'll timestamp this so that you'll be able to um you know jump jump around all right anyway let's get into the mini readings so aries moon welcome aries moon so on the 11th or 12th we've got a new moon in the 10th house for you so this is a time to wish for new things to do with your career and your finances if you could structure your finances in any way if you could be in any kind of job that you want what would you want to be doing what where do you see yourself where's that dream career of yours where's that dream place that is using all of you that's using all of your skills and talents and gifts and where you're being respected and where you're being understood and where you're being you wish for that right so that's on the 11th or 12th beautiful new moon there now from the 21st onwards you're going to see some energetic shifts okay so health and vitality should be really great actually with sun and venus in your 11th house that's a really nice time and again that's that's a terrific time uh for you know, working on projects that are important to you. Anything where you want to get the message out, if you need to publicize yourself, any of that, it's a really good time for that. So that's from the 21st onwards. You've also got Mars in your second house. So this is another shift that's happening after the 21st of Feb. So yeah, this is a potentially a time to take time out from family if you feel a need you know i've got the note here great time to exercise get outdoors if you can but really i think even mars would be quite um happy to lend his energy to the action of you know sun and venus there in the 11th i mean that's exciting that that's potential for you know you can make some real headway 
on projects that are that are dear to your heart and publicizing those and getting those out to the world so and, and making gains you know um uh, gaining either social media following or um you know money even so it's that's quite good aries moon you've got a nice thing there all right well thanks for joining we are now going to welcome taurus moon taurus moon welcome so 11 12 of the month there is a new moon in your ninth house and that is the ninth house that you know all too well where saturn is and saturn and all the gang right and i've been talking about this for a while that it's really your intellect that's going to grow at this time the potential to meet a new guru and, and to to really expand your skills and, and your leadership presence in the world so this is a great time to make wishes around how you'd like to grow intellectually you know um what skills would you like to attain what would you like to study if if there's a guru that you'd love to work with you know maybe this is um this is a time to approach that person even from the 21st of feb onwards you're going to notice some energetic shifts this is going to be a really good time for career for you actually because sun is going to be in the 10th so that's really fantastic right uh, mars is in your first house though you might be feeling if you're feeling a bit drained or a bit tired it could be to do with mars mars will be coming out of your 12th i believe and will be going into your first you might have found it challenging to get good sleep lately um, you might be tired Go slow and take rest if you're feeling drained. But I will tell you from the 21st onwards, really, really good time for career. So if you want to be seen, if you want to be recognized, if you want to put something out into the world, that, that could be a good time to do it. All right. Thanks, Taurus Moon. So we are now going to welcome Gemini Moon. Gemini Moon, welcome. So 11th, 12th of this month, we have a new moon. It's happening in your 8th house so this is a really good time to make wishes around how your finances are structured joint finances if you've been listening to me for a while you know that we've been talking a lot about this eighth house because saturn is there so you know all the work that needs to be done there but we are going to have some new energetic shifts right from the 21st onwards your inner sense of authority will be illuminated uh, that's going to be quite interesting. So we're really looking at the ninth house here. We're looking at Sun and Venus going in there. I've got the note, let your feminine side take the lead in clashes with authority. Okay, so I'm definitely not suggesting that you should have clashes with authority. But what I am saying is that you should, you should really tune into your own sense of inner authority. Okay, so if, let's say, for example you've led a chunk of your life thinking you're not good enough what you need to do is you need to let that sun energy show you that i am good enough uh, i'm going to say if i'm good enough right who is someone else to tell me okay so it's that kind of energy and you'll get this opportunity to use yes your sun your soul but your feminine side allow that to uh influence what that inner authority is for you okay so that gentle feminine side if you've always thought you're not good enough maybe your feminine side's going to step up and say do you know what i am good enough i say so right so this is a nice energy there for you gemini moon that's a kind of shift happening towards the end of the month there from 21st onwards and also from the 21st onwards we've got mars entering your 12th house so keep an eye on your spending you might be feeling tired or drained yeah it could be a lack of sleep but it can be a very restless uh position there mars in the 12th but equally it's good because you might be driven to grow spiritually you might be driven to pursue something in relation to your spirituality that's a bit different right you might find a new teacher or, or something that appeals to you uh it could be could be a good time i'm always look, on the lookout for new gurus and, and new spiritual things so 
Yeah, it's not a bad time, Gemini Moon. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we are now going to meet Cancer Moon. Cancer Moon, welcome. So on the 11th or the 12th of the month thereabouts, there's going to be a new moon in your seventh house. So I have the note here, wish for the love of your life if you are single. And if you're in a relationship, you can wish for a regeneration of your connection. Okay. You can wish that the angels bless and, and repair your connection if, if there is something that's, that's not going so well. All right. So on the 21st onwards, you are going to experience some energetic shifts. I know that you've had a lot of energy there in that seventh house, but the, the, the colors will start to come Okay, from the 21st onwards. So uh, it's a great time to deepen your occult studies and your connection with the truth okay sun venus in the eighth now if i'm not mistaken let me just do a quick look at this because i'm pretty sure julian assange has i know he's got uh sun in the eighth but does he have venus there as well i am curious let's take a look now oh, d10 oh i want the birth chart yes it is it's sun and venus there in the eighth yeah look at that deepen your connection to the truth that is yep that is very possible now mars is going to be in your 11th house oh that's fantastic this is a great time to progress at work go for a promotion land that new job get your name out there grow your social media do all that fantastic stuff it's a really good time for that cancer moon so i am wishing you all the best you got some really nice energy there and we are now going to welcome Leo Moon. Leo Moon, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So now on the 11th or 12th of the month, wherever you are, we've got new moon in the sixth house. So I've got the note here. You could wish for a debt to be cleared, right? Uh, if you've got any debt that's accumulated, you know, wish for the finances to come in to resolve that. Okay, you've got a new moon, sixth house wish for a debt to be cleared because a new moon you plant the seeds right and you want that new growth you could also wish for a promotion at work something to do with your career maybe if you're in a legal case or something like that you could wish that it, it comes good for you uh, from the 21st onwards that's where you're going to notice some shifts of energy so you might find that there might be some challenging times in your relationship or in your love life sun venus there in the seventh if you're single this is not the best time to be dating but a great time to be pouring into your side hustle if you have one your moonlighting business or your uh, social media profiles or your connection with the public wh whatever that is right um okay let's see we've got mars in your 10th house so that's from the 21st onwards so you might feel quite a bit more driven at work i do like mars in the 10th i really like it transit wise i think it's not necessarily the best let me just check that on my oh i know it is good oh hang on no that was the moon whoops no it's it's not considered yeah but i i still like it i like this placement a lot uh I think it's great for work i think you'll have the energy for work you may feel more driven at work what i will say though is don't overdo it and just be careful with seniors okay just be careful don't go anyone over anyone's heads or you know uh make sure you work in your in your place right <laughs> don't go above the seniors at work my dad used to give me that advice quite a bit not that i would ever do that but you know um yeah Leah Moon, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good month for you. I, I think, I think it's going to be a busy month, to be honest. And I think um, the energy feels a lot more work related than anything else. I think you're going to be busy. So Leah Moon, and if you're looking for work, I do think that it's a great time to wish for work. Okay, and to put your energy into that, to to turn that into your job. The looking for work thing is my my profession. I'm the CEO of the looking for work uh, project kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, a, yeah, that that's that's sometimes a good way to go, but it's it's got a work feel to it, Leo Moon. Okay, Virgo Moon, 
Welcome, Virgo Moon. Uh, we're taking a look at the 11th, 12th of the month. You've got a new moon in the fifth house. So, yes, you've been working with this area quite a bit, and you've been working with your spirituality, your creativity. Because it's a new moon, I'm saying that this is really a time to plant a seed or to wish for an upgrade to your spiritual or creative connection, right? Can you increase the bandwidth of that connection? I think you can. And I think you can channel a lot more, bring a lot more through. I think that would be a fantastic thing to wish for. But it's definitely the wishes need to be around your creativity, around harnessing your creative juices, at least documenting, at least writing your ideas down so you don't lose them, you know, putting in the systems uh, with the, so that you can capture that creativity, right? And that's that's a system, right? Having a, a journal where you write things down. You know, but maybe there are other systems where you create folders on your desktop or you bookmark things a certain way or, or whatever it is, right? Um, now, from the 21st onwards that's when you're going to start to see shifts in the month. So sun is strong in the sixth house, mm, but Venus isn't particularly happy there. This, this is a really nice transit regarding the sun. This is brilliant. So you, you should have the ability to shine at work or in your profession, especially if you're a service professional. This is not the best transit for your relationship though. So you might notice some tension in your relationship from the 21st onwards. Mars is going to be in your ninth house. So I've got the note here, be careful you don't ruffle the feathers of seniors at work. You might also have to work harder, okay? Uh, and the other thing to bear in mind this month, towards the end of the month when that energetic shift happens after the 21st is keep a check on your spending, okay? Don't overspend this month. But otherwise, Virgo Moon, it's looking like a really nice month, especially that ability uh, you have it when the new moon is on to wish for something big in, in regards to your creativity. That's quite stunning. So Virgo Moon, I wish you well, and we are now going to welcome Libra Moon. Libra Moon, thank you for joining. So on the 11th or 12th of the month, we have a new moon in the fourth house. Great time to wish for that dream property that you want to own. Okay, so if there is a dream property that you've been eyeing out, maybe maybe it's a nice time to make a vision board. Maybe it's a nice time to cut out some pictures and stick them down and just, just wish for something. Or you could do a digital one, you know. Um, that's always a nice thing to do. Now from the 21st of the month onwards, you should notice some energetic shifts because we're going to have some star movement at that time. So you should feel freer with your creativity with being yourself. Uh, if you have children, you might be a little bit worried about them. Okay, so you've got those transitions happening there in, in the fifth house. Mars is going to be in your eighth house. So this could be good, this Mars transiting the eighth house. If you've got excess energy, it could be good to take a little road trip with family or friends, for example. Be careful if you do. Um, be careful, you know, going anywhere. Uh, yes, that's that's true with Mars in the eighth house, but it, it's it, the concept is a little getaway. Would be would be nice if you've got spare energy. But the thing about Mars being in the eighth is that um, it, it is a good time to be careful with your health. Okay, don't overdo it. If you're feeling tired, and this is why, see, Mars can be restless. Mars can feel a bit cabin fever. Mars wants to go somewhere sometimes. So that's why I suggested a little getaway. But don't worry if you can't. If you want to just rest at home, honestly, that is the best thing to do. So um, you might feel tired or drained. Yeah, I've got that note here. I mean, look, the thing is with Capricorn in uh, Saturn in Capricorn there, you know, and the world the way it is, travel is not really the best. And um, yeah, it's, you know, so I don't often recommend travel, but but I understand that, that, that Mars can get a little bit of cabin fever. That's why I jotted that down. But overall, I think, 
Libra moon, it should be a stable month, uh, is what I'm seeing. A stable month. And I mean, I think the energetic shifts are going to be nice in terms of your creativity. If you can tap into that sun and Venus energy in your fifth house there and be creative, just just focus on you, be creative, indulge in some kind of creative project. That would be a really wonderful thing because you're emitting that energy to the collective. When you're being creative and happy, everybody benefits from that So, because we're all connected, you know. So Libra Moon, it should be an okay month for you, all right? Uh, I wish you well. All right, we're now going to welcome Scorpio Moon. Scorpio Moon, welcome. Now on the 11th or 12th of this month, we have a new moon in the third house for you. I've got the note here, wish for the ability to do what you dream of doing, whatever that is, right? Well, if you had all the courage in the world, what would you do? That's how I want you to think. You know, if you could literally do anything. And that's aside from money. This is the kind of courage that you know what 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 would you see yourself doing and it's not got anything to do with money right don't don't do this whole thing that well you know i, I wish for 10 million dollars well okay but then once you've done that you, you still have to do something and then we're in the third house here this is about doing okay this is this is uh you know about you sharing yourself with the world okay so how what would you wish for in that regard it's, it's quite exciting it's really something great to think about now from the 21st onwards that's when you're going to start to see some color and, and change in the month things are going to shift so it's a great time to luxuriate at home venus will be very happy doing that and i've got the note here break away from your mother's authority son in the fourth here's the thing if you're having some kind of clash with a parent then then leave the parent to do what they do, right? Because you're not going to change anybody. But you can look at yourself and you can say, well, what do I think? And just work with you. Just work with your own energy. See how that goes. And you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed at, you know, you can be your own authority, right? And I said this to another sign a few signs ago. I said, um, because I think there's some activity in the ninth house, I had said, what did I say? <laughs> I'm trying to remember now. But it was this thing about being your own inner authority. And it was this thing about not good enough. That's it. A lot of the times we're told by the outside world we're not good enough. Well, you should look to yourself and, and say, well, am I good enough? You, you know, you want to be the authority on that. How about that? What if you were the authority on that and you said to yourself, do you know what? I am good. And then you, you're operating from a place of gratitude. You're grateful for the majority of who you are and you can just keep building and getting better, you know, rather than being down on yourself or being critical of yourself, which is very often what authorities around us do, okay? So you want to be your own inner authority and you want to be kind to yourself so that you can build on all the good that you are, right? So Mars in your seventh house, let's take a look at this, 21st onwards. So Mars in your seventh house, I've got the note here, channel this energy into your social media, into being strong, into being creative, into being courageous. Uh, ah, yes, th these are the qualities you want to put through your social media. Okay, I got it. So sorry, the way I wrote that was a bit strange. Channel this energy into your social media. So. What you want to do is through your social media, you want to encourage other people to be strong, creative, courageous, and uplifting, okay? Or, or, the, or you want to uplift people through your posts. I'm sorry, Scorpio Moon, I've written all of that really badly, but I hope some of you have understood what I'm trying to say there. Basically, with Mars in your seventh, it's a great time to, to create some uplifting content that you share with, with people out in the world. And you've got that third house new moon thing there. I mean, this is a really nice, this is you interacting with media. This is you interacting with people, okay? This isn't about what you own or accumulate. It's about what you give. It's kind of air, right? So I'm really liking this month for you, Scorpio moon. I think you should be able to 
carve some time out, zone out from the mainstream media, zone out from the world and get on and, and enjoy yourself. You know, what a revolutionary thought. Um, I wish you will, Scorpio. I mean, you got, uh, hang on, do you have Saturn? No, you're in Sarisati. Am I right? No, you're not. Hold on. You left. You left Sarisati. I know you, Scorpio Moon. Let me just double check. Yes, you're in that lovely third from the moon phase. Are you going to have a good time? Thank you so much for tuning in, Scorpio Moon. We are now going to welcome Sagittarius Moon. Sagittarius Moon, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. All right, now the 11th or 12th of this month, there's going to be a new moon, which is happening in your second house. So I'm going to suggest when it comes to what you wish for, wish for some big money. <laughs> okay, I haven't had cause to say that for anyone else. But I'm saying that for you. I will be saying that to another sign coming up in a bit. Wish for big money, but you can, okay? You can wish for some big money here. So, yep, wish for it. That's always a good thing. Now, from the 21st onwards, we're going to notice some energetic shifts. They are going to happen. So, oh, this is fantastic. You've got a lovely thing going on here, Sagittarius Moon. You are all lit up. You should be feeling courageous. You should be feeling able to shine. It's a great time for communication. So you're going to have Sun and Venus stepping into your third house. Beautiful. Good for time with friends. Okay. Uh, or going for a promotion, going for a new job, right? Putting yourself out there. Great time to update your LinkedIn profile if you want to get a profile photo taken or any of that. Really great time for that. Mars is in your sixth house. Hello, this is wonderful. This is, yeah, okay, I've got, a, again, written great time to go for promotion or win legal cases. Um, i also got written here, despite your Sati Sati, this is the some of the best energy in the Zodiac right now. You've got it. You have got, quite frankly, of all, I think of all the signs, I could quite safely say that you've got some of the best, most supportive planetary shifts happening for you this time Sagittarius moon I'm super excited for that for you so take care hope you're well wherever you are and we are now going to welcome Capricorn moon Capricorn moon welcome all right so on the 11th or 12th we've got a new moon in the first house for you oh yeah I remember you Capricorn moon my goodness I've got the note here wish big I've been telling everyone in every single sign what they should wish for for you I've just got two words wish big like wish wish for all the things that you want and yeah I've got the note here everything you could want in all the years to come like this is huge I mean this is a really profound time for you and I have said this to you before that I you know you 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 might be going through some of the toughest times ever. This might not be manifesting. Um, this could be quite tough. I understand. I really do. So, but know that you're being polished into such a diamond. And I think that you're going to, you're profit, probably going to profit the most. It's that thing of, um, I downloaded a quote that's something like, the harder you bounce, the higher no, the, the harder you fall, the higher you bounce. Something like that. But it was, it was about the uplift. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be really good. So I do want you to believe in that. I do want you to believe if you are going through a tough time with all of this energy that's happening in that house, in that Capricorn house, <clears throat> know, that, know that you're going to come out very strong. And amazingly so right this is the school of Saturn he makes champions he really does I and this is why I love Saturn you know uh, he's the hardest taskmaster but work with him and you will go places so now from the 21st onwards you should start to see some slight energetic shifts some color you know some, some change some because it might feel quite the same and life might just feel like oh when is, when are we gonna have a bit of something changing right um so i'm saying from the 21st onwards you should start to feel things should start to feel a little better it, i've got the note here it's a great time to channel your energy into art you might even buy yourself something beautiful right 
Now, if you're running into any issues of authority, uh, and especially at home, for example, then what I'm going to say is that you should look within yourself and see, can I be my own authority? You know, what do I think about this? If you've lived chunks of your life where you've been told that you're not good enough, excuse me, or any of that, I'm just going to take a sip of water. If you've lived any part of your life where, you know, people have said to you, you're not good enough or any of those things, look look to yourself and be like, well, what do I think? And you be your own inner authority. Okay, this is how we create our lives. And we create our lives often by taking power back from the outside world. So, you know, what what do you think about how you're doing? And, and um, it's a good time to evaluate those things. And to take your power back, you know, and to be that gracious king or queen, right, of yourself. You know, it's a really good time to do that. Mars is going to be in your fifth house. This is from the 21st onwards. I've got the note here, you might be worried about your kids. Be easy with them. Uh, let them do their own thing if, if, you know, yeah, it's getting too much or something. But I do think this could be a good time to be creative for you. And remember, you know, with Venus there in the second, she likes to buy beautiful things or make beautiful food or create something. You know, it's that kind of creativity that I'm talking about. Something indulgent, something for you, you know. That would be good if, if you can carve out some time and do something special, do something you haven't done for a while also got the note expenses might be a little bit higher so yeah I think like most of us so many of us you know we're not we're not spending much anyway so um so but hopefully your your expenses remain under control but Capricorn Moon I am wishing you well I'm sending you a lot of good energy good starlight your way take care and we are now going to welcome Aquarius moon. Aquarius moon, welcome. So on the 11th or 12th of the month, there's going to be a new moon in your 12th house. Oh, I like this. You can wish for a stronger connection with the divine. You can wish to be closer to the universe. You can wish for greater manifestation powers. Okay. I love this new moon. I think this is great. From the 21st onwards, you're going to notice some energetic shifts in the stars. So this is going to be a good time to breathe new life into your fitness routine. So if you've been doing the same old yoga moves every day, you might want to try something new. Okay, so that's from the 21st onwards. Actually, I think this, yes, I will need to do this because I've been doing the same. I've been doing like warrior, various warrior poses like every single day. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try something new, actually. <laughs> I, I need to I need to watch some yoga with Adrian and find some new moves to put in my routine. So that is something you might want to do uh, from the 21st onwards. Mars is going to be in your fourth house. It's not the best energy for time at home. You might feel restless. Mars in the eighth was similar. I was kind of feeling the same for them, that like they'll, they'll have cabin fever and they'll want to go on a road trip or something um if you do that do be careful but yeah you might be feeling restless so you might have some sort of cabin fever type feelings i've got the note here you could channel this into home renovations into something physical i've also got the note watch out for arguments at home if you sense that you know uh, i probably shouldn't say this or you know uh oh that person you know they're gonna they're gonna lash out at me just 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 change the energy do something different you know uh, go for a walk listen to some music distract yourself just and, and then approach the situation when you're feeling a bit calmer you know and I think everyone's going through some form of something like that and that's perfectly fine so Aquarius moon it's looking like a good month it's looking like a good month it's looking like a stable month you know for, for most people it's going to be pretty stable so thank you so much for joining and we are now going to welcome pisces moon pisces moon welcome 
Now on the 11th or 12th, we've got a new moon in your 11th house. How beautiful. And you're one of the lucky ones. I've got the note here, wish for big money. Yes, I said this to another sign earlier that they could wish for money as well. You could wish for lots and lots of money, so why don't you? Um, you want big gains to come in. You've got all that powerful energy there in your 11th house. You might as well. And you've got a new moon. So wish for big money. And hopefully all those planets congregated in that one house, they'll all hear the, the wish and they'll all work towards it for you. Now from the 21st onwards, you're going to see some energetic shifts happen in the month. So it's a great time to take time out if you can. Wow, yeah, I'm having to do that myself, take a bit of um, time out to you know, prevent burnout or any of that. You might be going through the same thing. So if you need time out, do take it, right? Uh, have a short getaway of some kind if that's easy for you, if you're able, if you're not, don't worry about it. These days, a short getaway could be, you know, downloading your favorite movie or something. You know, you can get away in that way. Uh, you might find it hard to sleep. You got Venus and Sun there in the twelfth. The Sun in the twelfth is really the one that could impact the sleep. But don't worry, that 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 will come to an end. Um, Mars is going to be in your third house. Oh, that's beautiful. So wonderful. You've got courage. Okay, it's a great time for a promotion. Great time to be creative. So on the one hand, I'm, yes, I'm saying take time out if you can, but equally, if if you are working, then this is a really, really great time to to be creative, to channel that energy into getting getting stuff done for you. Okay, this is I'm just going to take a sip of water here. So this is. Um, channel this energy into passion projects of your own maybe there's your own small business that you want to start up on the side uh you know or, or your, your own creativity or your, your own thing see if you can put energy into that so mars being in your third house yes courage great time for promotion great time to be creative i've got the note here put yourself out there brush up your social media profiles really good time to promote things even to start something if you wanted to start something this is a really good time for you to do that so Pisces moon I am wishing you all the starlight all the best starlight in the world for you this month I hope you're doing good out there and to everyone I don't know if anybody's listened to this whole thing but if there are people here from other signs then thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for commenting and, and liking and all of that. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you next time.